I usually like to stand, but because of the circumstances, I've decided to sit. So I was uh, telling uh, Jennifer and the other colleagues on this other table that I don't really have dinner poems. Uh, usually, uh, I try to actually I actually try to like, read poetry before I eat dinner, just because I uh, need the hunger and the uh, the energy. Um, and because sometimes it's a little hard on the digestive system. So this is a sequence of poems, um, and as you will read from the dedication for the, um, the preambles, uh, is, uh, I guess it is about Iraq. So it's in 10 sections. Um, should take about 10 minutes, maybe a little. And it's called Face to the Million Plus. And here are the three preambles. Horus has given the gods to thee. He has caused them to ascend to thee as reed pens that they may illuminate thy face. This is from a pyramid text. I am talking of millions who have been skillfully infected with fear, trepidation, trepidation, debasement, and despair. Emesism. Fallujah now has the highest rate of genetic damage in Iraq. Scientists said that the rate is 14 times more than Hiroshima. Wikipedia. One. <coughs> It's true, we have gotten used to your absent faces. While the soldiers are enumerated, name, age, sex, branch of service, cause of death. How did you die? Who buried you and how? Are you in heaven now? Are you still waiting? Do your relatives still remember you? Does the dirt know you? The water drink you? Do lavender and clevada still shoot out of your remains? Two. A photo of a bride and groom. He is a veteran marine. His nose is flattened into two holes in the middle of his face. There are no ears. Gleaming skin covers the whole of his skull. No eyelashes, no eyebrows. His eyes peer at her through two slits. Some of the mouth had been recovered, and that's after the dozens of surgeries to repair him. She must have looked at him this way numerous times and turned away, but she can't do that now. The picture must be taken for the world to see. And horror is what it is when, she move, when he moves to kiss her with his non-existent lips, when he leans into her, gratified for the safety he finds there. Why can't she give up this man, who perhaps was handsome and kind, give him back to those who sent him to war? I say, why must I be the one who has to wake up every morning to this monumental truth? screaming its undeniable pain. Why must I face it alone? And now you, O oh million plus, how many of you are still burning? This wasteland is all yours now. What will it be, a country, a state, a territory, an authority? And what will you be? A nation, a people, a faith, a sect, unschooled and countless like dust, so tenuous that we have to give you a symbol, something to cover your scars and missing limbs. Four. She is welcome, they say. She'll be one of our gods. But how do we symbolize? the sectarian violence that was ignited, the ruined hospitals and schools, 
They raided the water and the dirt, the dozens of children born with two heads. How do scrap the wealth stolen by those who came to liberate us? The electricity that never comes on. How do we, the million plus, fit her into the stories we know? This mother sheltering us in the tent of her need. Five. <clears throat> Every second a face. The 60 in the minute, the 3600 in an hour, the two and a half billion in my protect projected life, each one a face, the apparition of these faces, the ones born every eight seconds, the ones that die every 12, and we the living streaming between, each a face, and I look at hers, my daughters held in my hands, and how, when sleeping beside me, she take my hand and place it on her face, and she is that face that adds them all together, and she is what the species stands for in me, a drop, a clot in its infinitesimal divisions, seconds and faces of human time here on earth, past and future intertwined, almost redeeming, held my hand asking if we can go to the park this afternoon, as if time can still guide us, as if I've not already done my time and use, as if I can still face the world I'm leaving her. Six. Um, when are you coming to rescue me? How long must I wait? And the million plus, myself, my others, are they the pores on my skin, the hair on my head, my eyelashes, my eyebrows, the signature of God on my face? Are you, love, always an essence? Must I find you like a path through a minefield, a shadow on a smudged shroud? Whose forgiveness do I seek? And what must I not touch, not see, not believe? And what will my yielding yield? And what will you be so we can find you, O oh God? Will you know us when you see us? We, the million plus, Oh, love. Seven. No aggressor, no victim, you say. We have become one, you and I, you say. You have no choice being here, and that makes us the same, you say. We must shake hands, must embrace in peace, you say. But you have torn me to pieces, remember? You have destroyed cities, villages, bridges, hospitals, schools, remember? Can't you see all the rubble around us? Why do you keep coming here, oh brother aggressor? Haven't you had enough revenge? Haven't you satisfied your desire to save and free and liberate? Why do you keep looking at my face when I have none? Eight. So, what happened to our brother, the soldier with the lost face, the one whose wedding was attended by senators and governors, the one whose disfigurement was supposed to become an essence of courage, love, and sacrifice? Remember him? Where is he now? Oh, come on. Did you expect the marriage to last? That he would prosper and she would stay? Were we really surprised when we found him one January night, face down on hard snow, dead from men and booze?
Now, how will I ever see you again, my love? Their flashlights, their cameras, their bombs, their records of us, microscopes and satellites that strip us to the secret braid of our breath. Oh, they know so much how our future is blotted with pools of light, how we have drowned in their knowing. Hasn't light done enough to us? The inhuman light of the mighty, the desperate light of the dispossessed, have rendered us gleaming like sand. How do I call you now, my love, from among a million shatterings? Turn off the light. I want to see your face in the dark. Ten. No ideas, no concepts, no conceits, only the weight of things, the fate of things, the card you carry that has no face. Something must be in my bones that makes them ripple, ready to be swept by the wind like straw or grass. Something in my blood that makes it seep out of me and dry out like leather in the sun, or in my flesh, some mistaken views that makes it want to explode into a million faces in multiplicities of loss. I see my body shaped in shadow, feel it struck down against the ground, how it's whole and enduring, woman like other women, men like other men, clinging to its breath, seeking to see its one face reflected in the changing sky. That's it. Okay, I have to pick that up, okay? <laughs>